guys, welcome back to Chef Monica's Kitchen. As I promised a couple days ago, after I made my unbelievable, world's best, greatest, most delectable, moist, unctuous, what unctuous? I mean? unctuous <laughs> roast chicken, I'm now going to show you how to utilize it in a couple different recipes. So I copiously removed all the possible meat I could without any extra skin or sinew and chopped it all up. Um, so I'm gonna use it in two different capacities. So this is predominantly breast meat. There might be a little bit of thigh meat in there, which is the darker meat. To that, we are going to add, I know this sounds a little odd, but water chestnuts. I know that's in typical Asian cuisine, stir fries and whatnot. I really like having different layers of texture in my chicken salad. So this gives a little bit of a crunch in there, but it's not like an obvious crunch. It's sort of almost like a, what's the word I'm looking for? If you can think of a good word for what a water chestnut crunch tastes like, put it in the comments. A little sweetness with my grapes, uh, red seedless grapes. You can use green if you want to at this point. Whatever you can find is fine. Um, just don't use seed. Seed full, seed full? Grapes with seeds. <laughs> seed full grapes. Um, I've got some red onion that I diced up. Again, if you don't like onion, you can leave it out. But you could use shallots, you could use green onion, you could use chives, whatever floats your boat. And some celery. Celery is sort of a classic thing that you Is that parsley or, or cilantro? That was parsley. A little bit of parsley. You can throw cilantro as well, but I don't like that quite as well in this because we're making this sort of a classic sweet and savory uh, chicken salad. Okay, so I have uh, water chestnuts, celery, onions, grapes, um, parsley. Did I miss anything? No. Okay, next thing we're going to put in there are some cranberries. I'm going to use some of the macerated cranberries that I have in the refrigerator, but they don't have to be. Again, this is a little bit for texture. I want a little bit of crunchy, chewy, and then for a little bit more abrupt crunch, some pistachios. You can get them already shelled, which is awesome. Otherwise, if you run want a project because you're that bored during quarantine, you can buy the unshelled ones and spend all day shelling them. I applaud that. I'm not doing it though. So we'll put in about a quarter of a cup or so of those. And if you don't like nuts, leave them out. Um, you could put pistachios, you could put walnuts, you could put almonds, whatever nut floats your boat. Well, nuts may not float your boat, but you get the idea. Okay, I, there's already seasoning on the meat, so I'm not gonna do too much above and beyond that, but I do wanna add a tiny bit more garlic powder and a tiny bit more smoked paprika, just to make sure that the veggies and stuff that I put in there are seasoned as well. A little bit of our Worcestershire sauce for a little salty component, our umami. Um, that's maybe just over a teaspoon. A little bit of lemon juice. I need some citrus to cut some of that sweet. And citrus also really, really loves chicken. That's why you see like lemon chicken recipes a lot. Little Dijon mustard, probably about mm, just over a tablespoon or so. And then mayonnaise. I'm not gonna do a whole crap ton of mayonnaise. I had to censor myself there. But I do wanna add enough to make sure that it will mix together. So we'll start off with, that's probably about a little over half a cup. And I'm not gonna add any more than that until I make sure that all this is mixed together and creamy. I want it to be just creamy enough to hold together. And at that point, you can eat this as is, throw it between two slices of good toasted bread, some sourdough, a little brioche, um, croissants, a croissant bread would be awesome with this. Or, I'm gonna show you how I like to do it, which is, I like a hot chicken salad. Cause I'm muy, muy caliente. So I'm gonna actually take this and transfer it into a baking dish, top it with a little bit of cheese, and then put it in the oven. And I'm basically just gonna uh, bake it through until the cheese on top melts and it gets all oozy goozy. And then you take that hot chicken salad and put it on top of your toasted bread. And holy cow, does that make, it couldn't be holy cow, holy chicken, does that make it a whole different revelatory experience. That is looking lovely. Let me show you what I do with that. Hold that thought. Okay, baking dish, a lovely blue. Not cerulean, indigo, I don't know. I'm going with the Devil Wears Prada reference that none of you are gonna have any clue what I'm talking about. So we're gonna take all that and pour it in here. Let's see if I can get it in here without it dumping all over the place. Jeff will follow it in just a moment. Wait, I got it, I got it. 
I don't got it. I got it. I don't got it. Almost got it. I got it. There it goes. Okay. So then smush it down, smush technical term. And then I got some shredded cheese. If you want to shred your own cheese, go for it. Good upper body exercise. I've gotten to the point where I could care less whether my upper body is exercised or not. So I got some pre-shredded cheese, any combination you'd like, um, something that melts well. So you're probably not going to want to use, um, like pepper jack doesn't melt very well. Um, yes, it does. Not as well as some of the other ones. So I use pepper jack well. melted all the time. Okay. Just saying. Gruyere, Asiago, <laughs> lack of Italian cheeses, or in this case, we're using sort of a Mexican cheese blend. So we're just going to put that over the top and then pop this in the oven for probably 15 to 20 minutes. And when that's done, I'll pull it out and I'll show you what it looks like. Well, it's all oozy goozy and melty. And that my friends is the best chicken salad on the planet after the absolute best whole roast chicken on the planet. And then next time we're gonna make the best chicken chili on the planet. And then you will have all the chickens conquered. World dominance. World chicken dominance. You were my strength when I was weak. You were my voice when I couldn't speak. You were my nose when I couldn't smell. <laughs> I don't remember the rest of the lyrics. The point is, I'm everything I am because I ate you. Oh my God. It's like, just- The best chicken salad in the, on the planet, right? Look at that, look at that. The okay. cheese and the smell of both the sweet of the cranberry and the grape mixed with the savory of everything else. It's like everything that's right with the world in a world that's gone wrong. Mm. My chicken will go on. <laughs>